They talk all the time in, in this industry, this industry being growth, transformation, personal growth, self-help, uh, et cetera, that the quality of the question that you ask, uh, TIY, the inevitable you, takes it one step further and talks about the quality of the frame, uh, and that is a specific a neural programming tool. Uh, the frame or framing that you're having or reframing the quality of the frame that you're asking about any topic, any challenge, any growth, any anything that you want. The quality of the frame drives the quality of your life, drives the quality of the answer, drives the quality that you are going to get as an outcome. Um, so we always uh, want to ask the highest quality, focus, 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 uh, reframe, reframe, reiterate, focus, focus more, get tight, get really tight and ask a great question, set a series of, of great questions in place, great sentences, great data in place. Uh, and, and I do not want to uh, under underwhelm, go past, uh, make this a short moment. Realizing, oh my gosh, realizing, realizing, realizing that wealth is a mindset, that it's software is what TIY calls it, um, is a mindset and it is not data. So where you're going to get uh, wealth tools and with other speakers, we have wealth tools. We gave you a great uh, tax tip last time. We do wealth, but the metaphor in TIY is, you know, you could have the perfect diet. And the problem is people will not follow the perfect diet because their mindset, their software uh, in our world is not about thin and powerful, which is what you need. You can even force in a diet and then just like AA has a great term called a dry drunk, uh, we talk about you can be a fat person trapped in a thin person's body. You can have the data of being thin uh, and here's how we know if it's data versus software, whether it's one month, one year, one something, you're going to hit a time frame where you're going to put the weight back on. Weight will always be a struggle. But when you have this mindset of thin and powerful, then you eat well, you exercise well, you focus your thoughts, you heal well. The mindset and the software is super 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 critical so this very simple question here do you know what your mindset what your software is uh, is just absolutely absolutely crucial and to help you we have given you a download you just have to ask for it on your financial model of the world uh, it is, while there is models of the world for virtually everything that we do, there's a health model, there's a marriage model, there's a love model, there's a parenting model. The, the, all these arenas have models of the world. The only one that we work with separately and uniquely different because money and finances and wealth and abundance is so critical is in the financial arena so make sure that you ask for that and you know give you a couple of extra exclamation points i know you've never seen that with me before make sure if you want uh, and, and if you want to be really crazy wealthy let me give you a couple more send it to brian and i send it iterate it we're more than happy to make comments on it. You know, well, I hope you know, we are, we are a scarcity culture. We are a scarcity culture. Now, you, you could go back in uh, the history and while it was, you know, the 
it was a dangerous place to live in the 1800s. It could be that, you know, though the depression was uh, a, a great time of, of scarcity and pain and agony. And, and because we still have those grandparents around and, 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 but, 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 if you do not understand this, if you want to argue this, if you want clarity on this, it's important for you to understand that in addition to your model of the world, we have at a higher level a cultural model of the world, and, and it's like um, organizational dynamics and psychology is really group psychology or groupthink, which I'm also educated and degreed in, which is how I've applied that model of thinking to neural programming, um, there is a lot, if you want to be abundant and, and wealthy, you're going to run into a whole lot of people that are scarcity based and they're going to argue with you, fight you, work on, hold it, stop it, don't, blah, blah, blah. So it's important that we start there, that you know that. And there's good reasons for it. It's not like these people that are scarcity-based or evil or stupid or or anything. It's, it's just that it is an is statement. And so you have to ask yourself the question, you know, is that fact what holds us, you know, which is you tonight? Is that is that holding back this scarcity culture you know so to make this real for you to make you choose if you want to add something or create something of value or gosh forbid that you actually go out and apply the content and apply it in a significant way you have to ask the question are you scarce or abundant and there is a why and a when for both scarce and abundant, because even if you said abundant, there's a why and a when when scarcity will pinch you. And if you're scarce, it's not like you're never abundant. And heck, I have a high demographic of clients. If you even manage to find this video, we know there is some amount of abundance in your life and you have the IQ, and hopefully even the EQ to chase and want, you know, abundance and forms of money and forms of health and forms of love because abundance is a software. It's not just money. It's love. It's happiness. It's joy. It's abundance is a software. It's a mindset. It's a very unusual person that is really good at love and poor at money or really good at health and poor at money there there is a reason why you would have health or love and there's a reason why they're still in your software do you have crazy love crazy health crazy crazy everything that's the type of person that controls their world teaches their children to be kings and queens of of their domains all great things flow when you understand this so understanding the why and the when we have this little tool in the 10 refers to that 10 percent of life 90 percent is is relatively easy even when it's a tough time you're doing email you're going back and forth to work you're thinking about this or that your attending meetings, your working out. 90% of life is a, we have a great relationship with flow and, and we, we're going through the day. This in the 10, this 10% is the intensity and it's the only place where we grow, where we get wisdom. So understanding, are you scarce or abundant? in the 10 you know it's crucial it's crucial that you've understand that this year we're focused on wealth and abundance you know what we focused on last year outrageous wealth that's what we called it out 
outrageous wealth. And the tool, just so you know, is called anger management. If you have an anger problem in traditional psychology, they're going to send you to anger management. Ponder this. If you have an anger problem, what if I sent you and taught you serenity management? You know, which one would you rather have? On your very, very best day over here, you've got well-managed anger. And you could even get that well-managed anger to zero. And you might call that happy. But the reality is, you know, it's controlled anger. You're waiting to for the anger in the tent to blow up. That's your best day. Your worst day over here in the TIY system is poor serenity. Oh, gee, poor serenity. What does that feel like? Outrageous wealth. If you screw up out outrageous wealth what do you have is that poverty is that lost everything you know two steps forward one step back you know two steps forward on wealth and abundance one step back hmm, maybe it's not wealth and abundance when you write the program and the software and know what outrageous wealth is Oh my gosh, you're king of the world. And so knowing which has more cachet with you, wealth and abundance or outrageous, outrageous wealth, and you have to know that both just as in scarcity are true. Because anger management is always anger centric. Serenity management is always serenity centric and furthermore the brain chemistry that connects to the thoughts and software that you're having is how this stuff gets reinforced so last year we said hey go for outrageous wealth and then how many people did that because i said if you screw up outrageous wealth you still have a lot of wealth and two steps forward, one step back, you're going to take two steps forward again. You will return to outrageous wealth. But hey, it, it, we, we thought this year, well, let's just do wealth and abundance. Can we, can we get people there? So now I want to ask you tonight's big question. What if you never worried about or acted as if you were completely abundant. What if you never worried about it? You'd have good days and bad days. Again, TIY is never a system of perfection. TIY is never a system that you're not allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to be you. So if you never worried about and you acted as if you were, do you even know what that would be? I think you would. I think you would. I just think that a lot of you don't have confidence or you worry about if I did that, what's at risk? What will I lose? If I acted if I was completely abundant, I might lose abundant. Well, Come on, does that make any sense to you? If I acted completely abundant, uh, I might lose it? Does, does that? No. No, you know that. You're hearing that. You're thinking this question. N no. A and if you did act, think, feel, and focus, do you believe you'd be better off or worse off than you are now. If you, and again, I'm not assuming that I've got, you know, people that are struggling and terrible and can't. I know who's on this call. I know who watches these videos. There's a lot of really good people out there. And even if you're at the top of the food chain, there's a lot more to go. You know that. If you already connected into some abundance, some wealth, 
there's more to go. There's unlimited. How do you get to unlimited? Write checks, print money, believe that this energy system is going to print money for you because you requested it, because you wanted it, because you believed in it, because you focused on it. Will these laws work for you? And if you acted that way, thought that way, focused that way, do you believe you'd be better off or is there some big risk of you doing that? And in, in reality, if you started acting like outrageous, just simple abundance and wealth, and we'll get off outrageous. I just want simple abundance and wealth and prosperity. Would you be better off or worse off than you are now? That should be for a lot of you a huge, huge, significant question, significant moment for you to think about who you are, why you are, what you are, and ponder what are the ramifications in my life.